He was only governor for a short time, but he was also beloved all across Indiana for many reasons. Today, Hoosiers are pausing to pay tribute to Joe Kernan. Good afternoon, I'm Lauren Casey. Joe Kernan lost his long battle with Alzheimer's disease today. We told you earlier this month that it was a battle that had robbed the former governor of his ability to speak. But neither his illness nor anything else could take away what Kernan gave to the state, to his beloved hometown of South Bend, and to his country. Our Ray Steele takes a look at his life. His biography will forever say he was born in Chicago, but Joe Kernan was a Hoosier from the day his family moved across Lake Michigan to South Bend when he was 10 years old. He would stay the rest of his life. Kernan ended up at Notre Dame, a pretty decent baseball player. After graduating with the class of 1968, Kernan signed up with another team, the U.S. Navy. He became a pilot, a good one, but even good pilots run into trouble. May 7th, 1972, uh, Ron Polfer, who I was flying with, and I uh, got hit by anti-aircraft fire. The airplane wouldn't fly anymore, and we both ejected. Uh, and both survived the ejection, uh, were captured, and uh, uh, checked into the Hanoi Hilton. He would spend 11 months as a prisoner of war in Vietnam, but he said he found hope when he heard another prisoner, whom he didn't know, whistling the Notre Dame fight song. After he came home, Kernan went to work in business, and then another type of service would come calling. He'd spend time as South Bend City Comptroller. Then in 1987, he ran for mayor and won the first of three terms. The last term, he'd win with a record 82% of the vote. Being mayor is the best job I've ever had. Uh, it was not me, it was we. Um, and I was blessed with some really, really good people. Southern Indiana native Frank O'Bannon was looking for some northern balance to the Democratic Party ticket in the 1996 race for governor. So O'Bannon chose Joe Kernan. They won, and they'd win re-election four years later. But Joe Kernan would become governor much sooner than he could have imagined when Frank O'Bannon died suddenly of a stroke in 2003. When you're one of nine children, you learn not to waste a thing. Kernan would run to continue O'Bannon's legacy, but Mitch Daniels and the beginning of the Republican takeover of Indiana would say otherwise, and Joe Kernan went home to South Bend. He wasn't done helping his hometown, though. Kernan kept the city's minor league baseball team from skipping town. A few years later, he'd give a hand to another military veteran candidate for South Bend mayor, one who'd become a little more famous nationally down the road. Even as Alzheimer's began to take his precious memories, five years ago, he told our Rafael Sanchez he did hope to see one thing happen in his state, a woman as governor. When he named Kathy Davis as his lieutenant governor in 2003, she was the first woman ever to hold the position. With the exception of Eric Holcomb's short tenure as Mike Pence's lieutenant governor, a woman has held that job ever since. You see other countries that, uh, uh, you know, are not... Uh, I would look up, yeah, exactly, uh, uh, that, um, uh, that they seem to have done well with, with women at the helm, and uh, so I don't, see, I don't see why not. He may not have lived to see a woman run his state, but before his death at the age of 74, Joe Kernan did live to see a lot of history and make a lot of history himself. As the current governor said, Joe Kernan modeled all the best of what it means to be a Hoosier. Ray Steele, RTV6. Ray, thank you. And we know many people are pausing to honor Governor Kernan today. Here is more of the statement issued by now Governor Holcomb. He says, quote, distinguished isn't a strong enough word to describe him. Without regard for personal cost, Joe Kernan devoted every ounce of his life time and again to upholding the oath he took and serving the country and state he loved, end quote. And the man whom Kerman endorsed as South Bend's mayor back in 2011 and former presidential candidate Pete Buttigieg also paid tribute today. Buttigieg says, quote, his friends will always remember his exuberant joy, his compassion for the vulnerable, his ready smile and his inimitable laugh. 